Hey, what's up DIYers? Mike Boris with the Mike Boris channel. Thank you for watching. I'm working on my grandma's pontoon and unfortunately the lights are not working and we're going to show you what is causing it. Let's take a look. Here are the lights that are not working and these are really neat. They're very bright at night so we definitely want these to be working. Inside the battery compartment now you've got your black negative and your red positive and check this out. Way down here We've got a broken wire, so we need to redo a connection point here. One of the very first things we will do is cut all electrical power to the boat, remove everything from the negative terminal. First thing I want to do is cut any old portion of the wire away, maybe about a half an inch, and start fresh after cutting that old part away you'll notice you're left with clean wire as opposed to that rusted corroded portion from here what i do is about a half an inch back and splice your wire and be very careful as you do this because if you don't have a splicing tool you can cut through this thin wire pretty easily and it's about a half an inch. From here what I'll do is grab a new weatherproof connection point. This is a Dorman brand and here is what it looks like. From here grab all the wires and rotate them to make a point. Insert the wire deep in that hole verifying that it actually goes inside the aluminum portion. And from here I will grab a stronger pair of pliers and crimp this portion together to lock that wiring inside that connection point. Squeeze it pretty hard. Make sure that is not ever going to come out. And that's pretty firmly secured. Now we're left with a hole. We want to secure this to create a watertight seal. And what I will use for that is my brand new Craftsman heat gun. Apply heat to it and this connection will begin to heat up and shrink in place and wrap around this gray wire. Rotate it as you heat it to heat it evenly. And as you can see here, that has completely secured itself around that wire creating a watertight seal. So. This will alleviate any corrosion or rust buildup over the years. Next I've grabbed the black negative cable, I've grabbed the wire with the new connection point, and this is an additional wire that goes on the black negative terminal. Check out the condition of that connection. Not good at all. We are going to put a brand new connection lead or point on this as well. We're not going to bore you with that in this video, however, we're going to do it right now. Making progress, installed a brand new connection point on that black wire that was very badly damaged and unreliable from here grab your black negative cable and the two additional cables and secure all of these in place with that wing nut double check everything make sure you're not leaving any tools behind now let's go test the lights this is my dad LT and we're gonna see if these lights work today and I'm gonna go up to the front and he's going to turn them on and as you can see they are working perfect how odd this is the camera is picking up flickers however looking at it with the naked eye those lights are on perfectly and not blinking that's odd all right dear wires i stopped the camera and restarted it believe it or not it's still kind of flickering but i can promise you this it is not flickering to the naked eye it is steady bright back on the boat check your fuses in our case ours are up under there here are all the electrical wires and there's that gray wire feeds into this fuse right here and I want to carefully pull it out and that's what it looks like if yours is blown or badly burnt go get a new one and reinsert it and secure it into its pressure fittings there all right diyers real quick what i wanted to do was wait a few hours let that sun set to the west because again 
in the bright sunlight. For some odd reason, my camera was picking up flickers in the light, even though it was not flickering with the naked eye. So as the sun moved out of the way, it is now stationary, as you can see. No flickers. Hopefully this helps. Hey, do us a favor. Below the video, you will see that thumbs up icon. Click on that, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Definitely ring your YouTube bell. That would be very helpful to us. We would really appreciate it. Thanks again for watching.